All right, so today I'm getting ready to install these sliding barn doors. And if you ever install them or wondering about how to install them, maybe you're too, um, too scared, not familiar, whatever the case may be, they come with some floor guides. Let me go get those. I should have had those ready. All right, so they come with some floor guides. And every barn door is going to be different, but it's probably something similar to like this. Kind of an L bracket. It screws down to the floor. You can see the holes right there. But what needs to happen is in order to hide, in order to hide these brackets, you don't want them on the outside of the door like this. It just looks, I don't know, tacky. I don't like the way it looks. It's not as clean. So you got to put a groove or a dado or whatever you want to call it. Just simple terms, a groove. So that this can slide along and the door won't swing out on you. Can you even see that? And the door won't swing out on you. So this groove is to prevent this, is to hold this bracket in place so that the door has something that it can guide. It has a guide so it won't swing in and out. And in order to do this, I had to make a jig. What I did is I attached a straight edge to my router. What I had to do was figure out the depth of the door, the thickness of the door, which is about an inch and a half, inch and three eighths. Then, so you divide that number, it's roughly three quarters, give or take. Then I find the center to my bit from the bottom edge. To the center of this bit and from the center of this bit to the bottom of this straight edge and I put it at three quarters of an inch so how did I do that one I found the center on my plate if you can see these marks plate here plate here that's the center of this bit and I measured up three quarters of an inch on both sides and in the center and it's hard to tell but there's a mark under here there's a mark for the board Set my board there, and I screwed in right there it is. Screwed into the back of it. Now these screws, these screws, where these screws won't interfere with anything. And what this allows me to do is use that board. as a guide and just put and just rides along just rides along the door putting a groove in it putting a perfectly straight dado perfectly straight groove and this will fit in there and you won't even really notice your guide so you're doing a project like this, you don't have a, a way, you don't have a, 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 a router guide, a shred edge guide. That's a simple way of doing it. Uh, that was just some scrap wood, some extra screws I had laying around. Perfectly straight line, pretty much dead center. Doesn't really matter if it's dead center as long as your uh, guide is placed in the appropriate place on the floor so that the door is plumb and level. I hope you like this tip. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Have a good rest of your day.